If you own any pickup truck, you probably really enjoy modifying it a little bit, making it your own, customizing it. Uh, well, this is exactly what this episode is about because I'm here at Overland Expo Mountain West in Loveland, Colorado, and I want to show you five customized, upgraded four-wheel drive pickups that are built up for overlanding and camping. But I want to start with a more affordable one and then work slowly work our way up to something insane. So how about this? This is my first truck on my list. As you can tell, this is a ZR2, previous generation truck. Well, that's still on sale now before the 2023 trucks arrive. But I think this is a really well done something you can do uh, on a reasonable budget. I know everything is relative, but take a look at this. So first of all, of course, they changed the tires and the wheels. Black Rhino wheels, for example, tires. Um, of course, you can price this out. This could be about, you know, $600 per corner, right? Then look inside. So this is not your DSS V-Shock. This is the king of uh, suspension. Uh, because this truck likely has a small lift over a stock one. Um, but you don't, so you don't have to do the shocks. I mean, you can like this truck does. Uh, but of course, there will be an extra cost because, yes, you can get the coilovers and the shocks on all four corners. But then you also have to install it. So you need to know how to do it yourself or pay somebody to do it. So that, of course, increases the price. I love this. This is a Duramax diesel. This is the last year, 2022, uh, where the diesel is no more. The next trucks will only be gas, turbocharged models. And then you, you have this, something like this. So this is a shorter bed, five foot, two inch bed, but you could still better build it out with a, a little, I would call it truck topper, but it's of course more than that because it's a full tent, rooftop tent that's integrated into this topper. So let's walk around in the back. And this is what I love, not just the mud, but the fact that the diesel exhaust pipe is a little bit squished. That means this truck is real. It's being used. It's going out there exploring. So this is pretty cool. Um, of course, you can mount an awning like this. Um, pricing on this varies, right? Uh, it can be several thousand dollars, like $3,000 or so. But as soon as you add the tent feature to it, um, of course, the prices can go up, so it could be between about eight to ten thousand dollars and above. So I would call this still a reasonable budget because you're building out something you can use really quickly. It's easy to set up, easy to take down. It doesn't take a lot of space. You can still use the bed for your storage, um, and then you have the base truck with off-road capability. Of course, dual lockers here as well on the ZR2. So if you have something like this mid-size truck, for what? Let's say you wanted bigger tires, um, that's about two grand. You could leave the suspension mostly the same as a stock truck and then maybe another $10,000 in the special uh, topper. So that's kind of where it starts. Uh, let me know what you think about this list and also this mild to wild list. Let's move on to the next one. Next on my list is this. It caught my eye because it's a new Ram 1500, also chromed out grill. So I said, you know, I usually don't see, you know, Ram 1500s. I've seen a lot of heavy duty Ram trucks, uh, but this one looks to be properly done. So I wanted to find out exactly what it is. And it is riding on 35s. It's got a lift, it's got a special bumper, but it's also got a very special built out on the bed, which is why I have my friend Brent here, Brent Bowen, Brent, thanks for uh, joining the show. Yeah, thank you, Andre. So uh, you're based in Colorado mm -hmm. and you build flatbeds and canopies. So, and this is your personal truck? Correct, it is, yep. Nice, so uh, before we get to this setup here, which I think is really cool. Um, tell me about like the base of the truck and why did you choose a Ram 1500? Yeah, absolutely. So it is a Ram 1500, as you mentioned, it's the Laramie Longhorn um, with the short bed. So this originally had the five and a half foot bed on this truck. Okay. Um, I chose it, I wanted full size, I wanted the power of a V8. Uh, Ram also, in my opinion, did a great job on the interior with these trucks. Yeah. So that's why I started with this. Um, we went ahead and had BDS give us a six inch lift. 
black rhino wheels, 35 inch Toyos, Expedition One bumper, worn witch, just to give it more capability off-road. So do you go into the mountains here or do you travel all over the place? Yeah, so we get out in the mountains here uh, since we're in Colorado. We also do a lot of traveling. We have family in British Columbia, out in California. So we do a lot of long trips, which is another reason why that Ram is a nice truck for us. Okay, so let's uh, just briefly mention, um, I want to get like an, uh, uh, um, a ballpark kind of price tag on this yep. build, right? Yep. Because I'm trying to do like top five trucks you know, mild to really, really wild, yep. right? Yep. And this is, to me, is kind of a middle of the road a little bit, okay. you know, usable, nice. Yep. So suspension is what, like 2,500 bucks? Yeah, I think, I think you can get a kit, 25 to three grand around there, plus, you know, your installation or do it yourself. And then uh, tires, of course, people know what tires cost, yep. uh, wheels and tires. Yep. So that's another, what, uh, couple, three grand? Yeah, maybe? probably. And then, uh, the front bumper, how much is that? I want to say that one is around uh, a couple grand. It depends on the options, the bull bars and, and things like that. And this one is steel, right? It is steel, yep. So really heavy duty, yeah. really, really tough. Yeah, Expedition 1's out of Utah. They make a variety of bumpers, a lot of clean lines. I, I'm really big into aesthetics, as you'll see with our bed, and I, I like the way theirs looks. Yeah, I see there's a little notch here. It kind of matches, matches yep. the truck, yep. which, which is really nice. Now, tell me about your bed solution. Yeah, absolutely. So we build 100% aluminum bed, bed replacement systems. This one happens to be our flatbed model. So this okay. has a canopy sitting on top. Um, this, this headboard coming down to the bed is the flatbed itself and the canopy is bolted to it. So the canopy is removable and you could have a standard flatbed. Okay, so you don't have to have that front uh, headboard. Correct, you could delete that if, if appropriate for your use, yeah. The, this guy, but, yep. but I think, I mean, if your canopy wasn't here, I mean, this could be a utility bed. Mm -hmm. You can put anything on there, yep. side by sides, yep. motorcycles. Absolutely. Quads, anything, yep. And it's all aluminum, right? Yep. And you have, the, can you show like, yeah. Little store. I know you're actually using it every day. Oh yeah, we, we use this thing, we camp with it, but you can see like our boxes. Um, kind of deep. Fully sealed, yep. Locking, uh, key to like boxes. Uh, <clears throat> this one's full of our camping gear and whatnot, but yeah, really deep. We store all of our stuff. Uh, I have two little kids, so when we go camping, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, even We even have full rear drawers on these flatbed models, so 60 inch deep drawer. All, all the things. Very neat. And I like that they actually gave it a longer flood bed, right? I yep. mean, you didn't give up a lot of a departure angle. No, no uh -huh. this is, yeah, from the five and a half foot factory bed to our now six and a half foot flat yeah. bed, this departure angle is still significantly better than the factory bed. Well, because there's also the bumper on the real, on an actual, yep. you know, production truck, yep. et cetera, yep. et cetera. Yep. That, that's really, really cool. And the hitch is built in? Uh, so we, we did additional. an aftermarket one there. We're, we're playing with some things down there. So that's, uh, don't look too closely at that oh, one. Okay. <laughs> so then the canopy, right, you said you could outfit mm -hmm. whichever way you want. Yep. These come in different lengths, so we could do as small as you know, like an 18 to 24 inch canopy all the way to full length. And then the inside can be built out as you please. In this one, we did a molly panel uh, barrier to protect the electronics on the fridge. Uh, drop down National Luna fridge here, yeah. which I can show you. With a full red arc uh, system to power it. I gotcha. So. Pretty sweet. And then obviously the canopy is also aluminum. It's pretty strong. You can mount other stuff on top of it. Yep, right now we have an eye camper. Um, the larger let's, let's go around. Yep. Spare tire mounted to the back of the canopy. Uh, as you can see up here, we have the larger eye camper with the Alucab 270 shadow on attached to it. Okay. Um, so yeah, they're they're strong. We we sleep four people up there. It handles the weight no problem. That's very so. sweet. And what kind of uh, pricing? Can you give me a ballpark for the yeah. bed and the canopy? Yeah. So this bed um, starts uh, for this specific model. It's right around twelve thousand plus tax and install. Canopy on this is going to be closer to eight thousand. Um, and then the outfitting on the inside is just goes from there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Usually when, when this look, the kind of a, the tray look is usually like Australian look, mm -hmm. but I'm really glad it's actually here in Colorado and US, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And we definitely took some inspiration on like the departure angles and things like that from what they're doing in Australia, obviously the canopy as well. But we tried to make sure that, you know, our lines, our lights, there's a lot of things that aren't, aren't the same as other companies. So we're not copying <laughs> anybody like that. Yeah, but it's yeah, very unique look and it's also very functional. That's what yep. I love. Yep, very And you even have a fuel filler? Yeah. Yeah, so we <laughs> use the factory fuel fill. We try and use factory as much as possible so we don't run into any issues. Uh, so that's the factory fill off of this truck. Yeah. And how do how do you like the Hemi? I mean the Hemi still still does well? It's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like uh 
having power when I need it. <laughs> All right, well, thanks a lot. Thanks for uh, showing me the truck. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I would call this kind of a middle-of-the-road build, okay. right? And very, very functional. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Next on my list is this, a V8-powered Toyota Tundra. I think it, this one is really well done. These are still super, super popular in the overland and camping and off-roading community. Why? Well, because they have the reliability baked into it. And I like this build particular because it's not going overboard so it does have special suspension let me show you so it does have your old man emu suspension coilovers up front it has it's using stock wheels but of course all-terrain tires but not super huge ones and it's got lots of clearance special front bar additional lights so the suspension of course will cost you money old man emu is fairly uh a premium setup and then of course everything else um, is also quite special including the bumpers and the lights and the side steps then why is this next on my list well it's because of the uh, actual camper and bed solution so it's a different uh, flatbed they decided to go with a flatbed solution still leaf springs underneath uh, but why why do this well because your camper your truck camper can now be a little bit wider as far as how wide it goes so it doesn't have to fit inside your standard bed the wall of it can actually extend out so that gives you a lot of interior space you've seen us review these extensively before but um, it does add additional cost to your project because the bed itself could be 10 to 12 to 13 thousand dollars and it does have boxes and does have a slide out drawer but then of course the camper itself uh, will add because it's larger uh, it could be about 30 to 40 thousand dollars just based on the camper depending on how it's built out inside do you have the sink the kitchen the heater the fridge etc etc so the price can vary but it will start around that thirty thousand dollar plus uh, barrier and then of course you have the canopy um, you have some other uh, additions like the jerry cans and of course the max tracks etc but this appears to be a very functional very nice and usable build um, based on a truck with a shorter cab so the wheelbase is not super huge so it's nice and functional it's got protection uh, with those steps the front bumper and the rest so uh, I re this is this is why it's on my list really like this particular one including even the rack that goes between the camper and the roof kind of making that one area for winders so there's a little bit of wind um, so the wind can kind of go hopefully a little bit around but you can see the bugs of course it adds resistance and will decrease your fuel efficiency so when you're building something like this you probably also need to think about an additional fuel tank or a larger fuel tank to begin with uh, for your truck. Um, this is number three on my list. It's not every day that I get to walk underneath a 10,000 pound plus truck, but I can here at the Overland Expo. Uh, this is next on my list because uh, these are bigger trucks. They're more capable, they're more built up, and of course they're more pricey. Uh, what you see here, and walk with me over on this side, are some of the builds by Elevation Off-Grid. Uh, they specialize in these Ford F550 based chassis. And what do they do? So let's just go over the suspension first, and then I'll show you some of the build outs because you could see uh, you could put up to two tents, not one, but two uh, on top. So that's pretty special. So it all starts right here with the suspension. This is called liquid spring. Um, so this is the rear axle on this Ford F550 commercial grade truck. So what's going on under here? I love that they did this because um, it actually shows a great view of the suspension. So it's a unique multi-link setup. So the leaves are gone. And then if you walk over here, do you see the red piston? It's basically, well, the easiest way to explain it, it's a hydraulic based suspension system but of course hydraulic fluid is not compressible so it's a unique fluid uh, with a chamber and it moves in and out and it's active take a look at this 
They have little height sensors, um, basically, I believe on all four corners. So the truck knows exactly what the level it's at. You can adjust the level up and down. Um, and then you can still carry your 9,000 pound payloads, 9,000 pounds. So you can put these flatbeds on these. You could put trucks on top of it pretty easily. And you can also do this. So this is one of their unique builds. Basically, it's a pickup build. Why is it a build? Well, because they don't make a 10 foot long pickup bed. The biggest beds, of course, are eight footers. So what the guys at Elevation uh, Off-Grid do is actually extend this bed to fit the 550 chassis. And they're running, of course, um, super singles tires. So they're not dualies anymore. These are box stops. And they build it out to look like a pickup truck using a dually bedside, right? This is the dually bedside. And then this shows what's possible uh, with these specially built uh, truck toppers with a rack that's integrated into it, an awning and everything like that. So if I just show you, actually it's really loud over there. So I can't quite walk on that side. But when you're talking about a build like this, even a base, even a base build uh, with a flatbed, you're talking about six figures now. So about $110,000, $120,000 for a fully built out truck like this. You can see, here's another look at the uh, suspension system. The suspension system alone, if you wanted to do it to your truck, is about 25K. Um, it's pricey, but it's very capable. And it actually was designed um, in the emergency industry with the ambulances and vehicles like that, where you can actually, um, you need a comfortable ride, adjustable ride, but also durability. So that's why these suspension systems are that expensive. And of course you can build up on there, but then you're getting into $150,000 or in that neighborhood. So this is next on my list because it's way more capable. It's huge, yes, I grant you that it's huge, but I just love the suspension setup on, on these guys. I promised you mild to wild, right? And this is the top of my list. This is where you get into seven figure territory as far as build cost, million, two million plus. This is a full luxury home on wheels and AJ, the owner is gonna walk me through it. AJ, my friend, so you have an enormous rig here that you built yourself. Built itself, yeah. So uh, tell me about the chassis first and then I wanna go inside. Is it fair to say though, before we begin, that this could be a seven figure build if you had somebody else do it? Ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, I would say easily. I'd say you have to go that easily. high because of the size, yeah. Yeah, the size. This is a six by six. So let's mm -hmm. take a look from the profile. Okay. So where did you get the chassis? It started out in a Stewart and Stevenson factory uh, back in 1995 as a tanker. Okay. Uh, it was recalled by the, uh, by the factory because the Army needed uh, cranes, okay? So uh, I got it as a crane and uh, removed the bed, removed the crane, uh, scrapped all that, sold the parts, and that gave me three tons off of the body. So I started from the frame up, okay. and uh, then we started uh, looking for uh, donor halves. You can, you can custom build the halves or you can do a donor. This is a, this is a modified donor. So that means I stripped the outside, inside, uh, put the uh, framing in it and uh, made it super tough so it could handle these uh, off-road roads. Okay, um, and then, um, so you left the drivetrain kind of alone. Yes. So it's still a cat. It is still a cat, 3116, all mechanical cat. And uh, I have high-speed gears in it, so it'll run about 70 mile an hour down the road uh, when hit from the rear by a heavy truck. <laughs> <laughs> and the tires, these are what, 46s, approximately? Uh, uh, no, they're, they're, the, they're the standard uh, uh, MTV wheels and tires, oh, so yeah. 395s. 395, um, 85, R20. Right, 395, R20s. Yeah. And they're about 395 pounds a piece with the uh, uh, blockers, or with the uh, run flats out of them. Okay. So they're still workable. I did a little YouTube video, I changed the tire about 14 minutes, so it's not undoable. <laughs> Easy how to many, do. How much does this weigh, like 300 pounds? That's 395. Yeah, yeah, 395. All right, so then you have, of course, a deck, because yeah. everybody needs to have a deck on their I, uh, machine. I, I tell you why. <clears throat> My yeah. wife, uh, we live down at the beach, so we take this down to the beach and we put these uh, wheels right on the tide line. Okay. And you sit on the porch deck and you can okay. watch the, 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 the tide and the uh, waves come right up to your deck. And you can grill up there too. And you can grill. This is your outdoor kitchen. Right. You can modify it so if your truck's at an angle, you, uh, you can make your, your deck level where it needs to be. So you built this entire 
home body yourself? Yeah, uh, no, the home body is is partially rebuilt, so the inside structure has been modified okay. to take the weight. Okay. If you look on the outside, back on the front here on the corners, yeah. you can see it kind of looks like an OEM rig, but what you're actually looking at is uh, some pretty heavy steel reinforcement this? For, for the bodies, right? Uh -huh. And then the inside, of course, is all two by two, four side welded. And aluminum. was the slide out here, or did you build that? The slide outs came with the original donor hab, but they're modified as well. Okay. Um, the uh, motors and, of course, the drive shafts are all modified to take the heavy hit. Okay. That uh, that you get on off roading with it. We've got about fifteen thousand miles on this, so what happens is these slides act like a ball and a socket uh -huh. going down the road. Yeah. And when you stop, they just level back up. So they take an adjustment about once a month, but they, they're highly survivable uh, for what we do with this truck. Sweet. Uh, well, let's go inside. And while we're doing that, what's your kind of uh, running weight here? Uh, that's classified. Okay, classified. I won't, <laughs> I won't, I won't ask you about it. But that. I will give you a hint. Okay. Um, remember, we started out with a, with a truck that's a five ton, yeah. and then we took off a bed that weighed three tons, which means I can add eight tons to this truck. Okay. I don't need to do that because these halves are nowhere near that. So we're closer to a four ton uh, hab on here with all in with uh, refuelers, gasoline, uh, diesel, uh, uh, propane. So uh, I can easily I see take... a big tank. Yes. Uh, was that tanks. on there? Uh, I'm, the second tank wasn't. So okay. we added a second tank to it. Okay. So each tank holds uh, 70 gallons. They're modified. Okay. And then I have two reserve 35 gallons on the rear. I got 55 gallons of reserve water in addition to the main 50 gallon tank water tank. All right. Do you mind if we come in? Well, you mind wait till Reed gets out of there. Okay. I don't know how many people are in I'll, there. I'll, I'll go yell at them. Okay. So here's here's the deal with these these uh, these bedrooms. Yeah. When you get older, especially if you're 50 and above, you need to have a uh, an easy an easy place for a date. So right behind you, if you spin around here, you got a full dinette that you can get in and out of you know, easily. Yeah. And then once you start your date here with dinner, you end with the floor where you have your dance. And then from there, you go right to your bed to end your date. Okay. That's what happens when you're over 50. Wow. I did not know this. I appreciate that. That's because but, you're young. But, but, but <laughs> I'm not 50 yet. Soon. But you, know, you also have uh, this really amazing Western motif. Yes. Here. This yeah, is really cool. Yeah, I'm wearing a cowboy hat. So when does, in the date, when does the laundry come in? Is that later? Uh, Doing laundry? When does it come in? <laughs> you mean when do I have to do it? Yes. Uh, about every other night. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, that was a bad joke. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't get it, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> well, you mentioned dancing and eating and... Yeah, no, um, no. But, uh, yeah, I was just wondering. <laughs> so this is the back section of the of the Right, truck. right. You're, where, uh, where your cameraman stand right there is about a four foot over the uh, rear uh, main frame. Yeah. So you only really have an overhang pass out of about three and a half to four feet. This is a California... Uh, California uh, king? Uh, king bed yeah. that, that folds up and once this folds up this makes into an area you can put tables in here you could put uh, a couple uh, three or four couples back here and eat dinner back okay. here when you fold this up and then you have kind of a central bathroom central area. bathroom right okay Th this truck was kind of built for two people believe it or not okay so uh, it's very very comfortable for two people and you got plenty of room to, to move around in here all right well let's keep moving forward okay if we can so here's the central bathroom there you go. The bathroom's got Moroccan tile there, kind of keeping the same Western motif. She, yeah. she does a lot of the custom work for uh, like the mirrors and things made out of boots. And uh -huh. I see that. We're, we're, we're kind of horse people. And uh, I say that my wife got on one once. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I, I love the saguaro too. The saguaro on your door is really amazing. What did you call me? No, the cactus, <laughs> the cactus. I know. That's my joke. Right back at you. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to follow, but <laughs> so let's kitchen get... deep sink on there. It, it's yeah. rare to find the the uh, Overland trucks or any truck with a deep sink, but that, it fit in there. And remember, weight is absolutely no option for these trucks. We can still pile in another ton of cargo if what we wanted to. Is this? Stuart and Stevenson, uh, 1995. So it was an old uh, it was an old uh, crane, old material handling crane. Okay. Makes sense. Well, it feels like home. It, it is a home. Well, you have a fireplace, I can see. Yes. Is that a fireplace? Yes. Rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Okay. There's a fireplace right there. And of course, it's got the uh, it's got the recliners. Now these these pivot back and forth. So when you're going down a road, you can pivot these for road travel mm -hmm. into position. And, and they're so, so slide and that comes in. Correct. Yeah. Right. And of course, they're all they're all electric, so you can. You uh, light them up, and uh, they 
put you back there. You can actually sleep in these things. They're as comfortable as can be. Sweet. Take a good shot of that shower because it took a long time to do it. Aha! Uh -huh. And I do hate tile work. Is that Moroccan tile? It's a Moroccan it? tile. They okay. come straight all the way over from Lowe's downtown. <laughs> from Morocco? Uh, yeah, Lowe's, oh, oh. Lowe's Home Improvement out of Morocco. Yes, I gotcha. <laughs> So you're saying this is the ocean up here? This is the ocean. Okay, I, I, I feel just, that. Just picture sitting right here with the ocean waves rolling right up to your grill. I, I feel it's that. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. Well, AJ, thank you for sharing your Absolutely. home your home with me. Pleasure. I, I really appreciate that. Pleasure. Good talking to you guys. So there you have it, guys. You saw a build that was about ten to $12,000 approximately. You saw one for thirty. You saw one for forty-five. You saw 100000 You even saw a couple million. So... I hope you enjoyed this. You can watch a lot more truck stuff right here or go to oldtfl.com for everything automotive in one place.